So hi everyone, welcome to ITV. So hope all of you are actually having good time with your uh, work. Um, in this uh, video, I just wanted to give you a brief about uh, uh, different kinds of uh, population categorizations which are actually there in the market um, in the sense like software industry. So I just give you a small story on uh, software career life cycle. So as more and more people are moving to white collar jobs, especially software ones, uh, I'm writing a brief population categorization that all of us are actually making a living in the industry and how we as uh, employees or uh, software uh, uh, guys uh, will be moving across uh, different categories from time to time. So the first uh, category is the ambitious 0.1% uh, meaning every thousand people only one of them will be there. So these guys put hundreds of hours in upgrading their uh, DS knowledge or lead code scores and crack highest ever packages in the market and they raise the bar for rest of the 999 people. So they trigger the thought for all of us that there is a way to increase the financial benefits from the job if we can keep upgrading software skills and are on the run for solving bigger business problems. So these 0.1% are mostly after uh, FANG companies or MANG companies which are actually uh, providing sky high salaries of new entrants in the market. Why they provide sky high salary? Because their products are earning billions of dollars and that product is actually very much important and if a very good coder is needed, they can pay any much, any amount of money for that. And the next one, the next 20% of the population, they are actually recruited through campus placement and they'll get good scores normally in their academics and also either normal good scores or they'll have good analytical skills. So what they actually do once they join the company, they gradually upgrade their skills and then they start working on their projects and then they take initiatives in the projects or they'll have a holistic idea of what is happening in the project and then they'll become a go-to person for the entire team that in case of any solution or problem, what needs to be done. So they might not be the highest packages earners in the market, but they are mostly dependable and also crucial members of the project or team and basically they define the direction of the project or delivery which they are working on. So they keep on doing the same things and slowly they become the corporate positions like managers, senior managers, vice presidents, presidents and you know they, they'll become into the leadership teams. And then the next 60% of the population, they are actually uh, into the software market because they thought a good, uh, it will provide a good financial benefit and also it will have uh, a good uh, um, you know monetary benefits and flexibility all of that they have thought and then they came into the marketing industry uh, software industry and then um, they 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 do their work by getting the instructions from the uh, the 20 percent of the people who are leading the projects and they are like the minimum um, needed amount of work which needs to be done they'll do that i mean like the basic uh, 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 grouping of all the things to make a delivery work they are the ones who will be doing that and then what they look for a, a company or a job is clear instructions, a good leader and some job security and enough financial uh, uh, security which will be helping to clear their day-to-day -day needs. So they are not much ambitious about the packages but they are very sensitive to their self-respect and also any company which is providing job security, they will stick to those uh, employers. And comes the last 20%, they came into system because of some references and somehow sometimes companies do mass recruiting that times they come into the uh, companies and they actually not sure um, what skills they have and also they will not be much ambitious and also not productive as well but um, they they actually try to spend their days not to get uh, terminated in the company just to survive in the company and then you know whatever is uh, done uh, or given to them just try to complete it some or other way. If these guys are not properly monitored or not properly taken care, it will actually affect the rest of the 80% of the population in their productivity and also deliverability. So why I'm actually speaking about these different uh, categorizations in the population of uh, software industries, uh, in our careers at one point of time or other point of time, we will be in uh, these category population ranges um, while we are working in any company or project. And we need to actually think about our day-to-day uh, -day activities and what we are doing and then try to get a holistic idea of where I am falling into in this category and how how I actually have to change or you know continue what you are doing based on the based on the category which you are in so that your career will be beneficial and also you'll be having a better plan of action for the next steps. So that's the idea why I wanted to um, start this video and then hope you all have actually got the understanding of it.
Thank you, everyone.